What's up guys, Ryan here, TradeawayTraining.com. I wanted to quickly get this video out to you guys. Me and my wife are actually in the process of moving, so we're super swamped at the moment, which leads me into today's topic and how I came up with this topic. Uh, one thing that I hear a lot from a lot of people, I hear over, 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 and over, is I don't have time to get fit, I don't have time to eat healthy, and I don't have time to work out. And that's just not a valid excuse whatsoever. It doesn't take that long to get fit. It doesn't take that long to eat healthy. You don't have to go to the gym to work out. You don't have to have access to gym equipment to work out. You can work out at home even if you don't have anything to use for equipment. Now, if you're wanting to be like a bodybuilder or something, that's kind of a different story. But just for the average person that's wanting to drop a few pounds and lean up, you can work out and get a good workout in at home and you don't have to have much time or any equipment whatsoever. Just set your alarm 15 minutes early in the morning or 20 minutes early in the morning. Get up, do some body weight squats, do some push-ups, some sit-ups, and then once that gets too easy, then you can get an old suitcase and put some clothes that you don't wear anymore in there and put that on your back and use that for weight for when you do push-ups and squats. And then if you have 15 bucks to spare you go to Walmart and get a pull-up bar and put it on the doorway and you can hit your back doing that There's so many different things that you can do at home for little to no money That doesn't take that much time and then as far as eating goes It doesn't take much time to eat healthy either if you're really that swamped You can go to Walmart go to the freezer section get some pre-cooked chicken Throw it in the microwave and walk off do whatever else it is you need to do and It's gonna be ready for you to eat in just a few minutes and then as far as vegetables go you can get vegetables that are in the little steam packs at Walmart too, or whatever your local grocery store is. Throw that in the microwave for five minutes, and then boom, it's done. You have your veggies, you have your meat, you're good to go. And then as far as eating on the go, you go to, go to McDonald's and have a salad. You can get the spicy Southwest salad with grilled chicken on it, and then if you use the light Italian dressing, which is the dressing that I like to use, then it's only gonna be like 10 grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs and about 40 grams of protein and then boom you, you have a whole meal a good meal healthy meal and you have about six seven grams of fiber in there too and you might say well that's expensive I don't want to eat a salad at McDonald's well okay put a scoop of protein and eat it in a shaker bottle and eat a banana that's less than a dollar you're, you're not even gonna be able to eat that cheap if you go through the drive-thru and get the dollar menu so you can't say that eating healthy is too expensive too I just eliminated that as well. So it doesn't take long to get fit. There, It's not an excuse. If it's really a priority, if you really want to get fit, if you want to get lean and you want to improve your health and how you feel and how you look, you will find a way to do it. Or you'll just keep making excuses. It's, I mean, it's as simple as that. There's no excuse to put your your health in the back seat there's no excuse to ignore your health if it's a priority you will find a way to make time for it and I'm not trying to be harsh on you I'm just trying to tell you the truth here if it's really a priority you have to just find a way to make it happen Heck, if you have kids and you're running around with your kids boom there's some cardio just run a little harder when you're running around with your kids get some cardio in there or pick your kid up, put them on your shoulders, do some squats. I guarantee you they'll love it. They'll think that you're playing a game when really you're working out. They're going to have a blast and you're going to get fit at the same time. If you have kids, then you already have workout equipment because you just throw them on your back and do some exercises with them on your back. And, and that's really, that's it. I want to get out of here quick today, guys. Um, like I said, we're in the process of moving. I need to get back to that. Got a lot to do today. Have a few workout programs right after this too. Before we go, I do have a quick favor to ask of you. At the time of recording, I have 44 subscribers. This is a new channel. It's a small channel, and I would like to hit that 50 subscriber mark. So, if you like the video, only if you liked it, if you enjoy what I'm doing, if you enjoy the content I'm putting out, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Share this video with a friend. If you know someone who will benefit from this video, share that with them. I know they'll appreciate it, and I will too, for sure and let's hit that 50 subscriber mark and you can be a part of that. And I will be back next, no, I will be back Sunday. If you head over to the Treadway Training blog, I'm gonna put an article out Sunday and then I will have another 
Quick Tip Tuesday out next Tuesday. I have a lot of good content coming out for you guys within the next few days. I'm not slacking off just because we're busy. Like I said, time is not an excuse. I'll be back Sunday with another fat loss topic. As always, God bless you and your family, and I'll see you Sunday. Thank you.